Hello and welcome to Waylanders Wandering. You'll remember a week or two ago I made a video speaking about uh, hobby burnout and depression and things like that. And the thing that really started it off for me was this pair. This is Moff Gideon for Star Wars Legion and this is uh, Cadet Judge Giant for Judge Thread. Now, if you can, if you notice, you will see that I've got to exactly the same stage on both of them, where I've painted everything except the skin. And they've got one thing in common: the skin on both of them is black skin, Afro-Caribbean skin, or however you personally choose to refer to this skin tone. Basically, brown skin. And I haven't painted a miniature with brown skin since the uh, Katachan Jungle Fighters were re-released by Games Workshop in plastic kit form back in the late 90s slash early 2000s. So I sat there with those at that stage on my desk for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. Until I thought, sorry, I'm going to do it. 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 So I bought this, which is the Army Painter Skin Toned Paint Set, which has all the paint you will ever need to paint every skin tone imaginable, from very pale opal skins all the way through to a dark mocha skin, as they call it there, or even the onyx skin or obsidian pigment tones that we see here, these two bottles. And I think that uh, Giant, as a darker skinned man, will probably work quite well with the Mocha skin. And Moff Gideon, as played by the absolutely fantastic Giancarlo Esposito, could quite easily work with the uh, Jasper skin there, or maybe this Tiger's whatever it is skin let's get it out of the box and have a look shall we see what we actually get in the box because it's not a bad little set i think it's about 35 pounds from uh, mighty lancer games and you get uh, some agitating balls some spare bottles we have each got two agitators in and you get all of these skin tones which is 5 10 15 16 individual paint so that's not actually a bad deal but yes i think the tiger's eye on jasper will work for the uh moff gideon and maybe the where is it the mocha skin tone for judge giants there so let's get on with those i'll start with judge giant and i will get with you when i'm ready to begin pushing some pigment. Beginning with Cadet Judge Giant's skin, I've put uh, some of the Mocha skin tone on my palette here with a tiny drop of water just to bring it down to a useful consistency. And the paint comes across, at least on the wet palette, on the uh, tile palette there, as a kind of a plum shade, I suppose, deep plum. But we'll, we'll put some on regardless and we'll see what it looks like. Give it time to dry and give it a second coat, of course. Because it does seem to go on relatively thin. But that is over a, a standard grey primer with a white zenith on both from the colour forge so i will finish off this uh, base coat on young giant here and give it another go over and bring you back in when we have a look at it afterwards well with that uh mocker skin on 
it's dried nice and evenly. It's two thin coats, as uh, is always recommended. But I can't get over the fact that this skin tone is leaving the miniature looking like an angry English dude who's just been told Brexit's been cancelled. But we'll persevere. I will now try to stick a dark skin wash on and hope that this improves the figure somewhat. A couple of drops of that on there. And that is a very nice, rich looking dark brown. For anyone that's interested, I'm actually using a Citadel starter brush today. They're quite nice, considering that they are synthetic brushes and it will have at some point a tendency to curl over at the end. They do have a nice belly on them and a reasonably good point while they're kind of new. So let's get this dark skin wash on here. Now this dark skin wash it appears to be, uh, what's the best way to put it? Well, if it's having an effect, it's not having a massive effect. That might be, because I'm not putting it on thick enough, it might be that, and it's entirely possible that I just didn't shake it enough so there's not enough pigment in with the medium. But... It is going on. It is settling in the recesses quite nicely. So I think all things being equal. I kind of like this. It's definitely doing the job. It's got a little bit on the back of his neck there. So there's nothing like the, the sunburn on the back of your neck for a white English dude who's actually supposed to be an Afro Caribbean New Yorker. Or Mega City Wanter, I should say. But that has brought his skin tone, I think, a little bit more of an acceptable shade. We'll leave that to dry. And while that is drying, we will try this Jasper skin tone on Gideon. I'll get a few drops of that on there. And that's a nice looking colour. That hopefully will work for a paler black skin, closer to a Hispanic skin tone that uh, Mr. Esposito has. Let's get some on here. And this, of course, is over a black base. Yeah, that's terrible. It's got no body to it at all. And yes, that noise in the background is my Vortex mixer. I won't make you listen to that anymore. Let's get another couple of drops on there. See if this works any better. It does look a little thicker. And as you can see, this original shake is separating the medium from the pigment already whereas this is somewhat healthier and is actually covering a little as we put it on so again we get two thin coats across uh, Moth Gideon's face and neck fingertips because he was fingers and gloves. I'll bring you back in when it's time to add a wash. Now that we've got the two thin coats on the uh, Moff Gideon's skin there, we can see that the Jasper skin tone dries a little bit orange, but I don't know, to my eye it looks quite close to uh, Juan Carlos Aspesito's natural skin tones but we will try that with the next wash down on the scale which is the strong skin wash so 
which is already shook. Get a couple of drops on. And give this skin a quick wash over. Okay, unlike the uh, darker skin so wash, this seems to I don't know, go on actually not a lot nicer I feel and isn't too strong that it will overpower whatever colour you have underneath so let's quickly fly around the rest of the skin with this Back of the neck and down the ears. And run across the fingers. We'll take a look at giant that has uh, had a minute or two to dry. Well, I think he's brought the skin up a lot better. It's dried a little bit shiny for my taste, but it's definitely brought the skin up better. Now, I think we can get away with using this Jasper that we used on Gideon for the highlight. So we will arch in the normal way, so then bridge of the nose, cheekbones, chin, etc. And we'll see. What sort of effect we get, but what we won't do is go for two coats. That's don't think it will be super necessary. Sorry for the long silence there. Just trying to concentrate a little bit. There we go. I mean, I think it'll do the job. Maybe another quick wash with the uh, softer wash over the top of it just to bring that back ever so slightly but I think that will do let's have a look at uh, Giancarlo again and I'll put a wash on this while we're off camera as well and we'll see how we get going now that that uh, dark skin tone wash has had a few minutes to dry I think a very small highlight of topaz skin may help our uh, Moff Gideon a little and taking an X taking the uh, highlight back with the dark skin tone wash on uh, Cadet Judge Giant here has um, brought it quite nicely leaving me just the hair to do which I will do black I would probably use either a bad and black or black Templar, but it will be black with a very light dry brush of a very dark grey. 
and then I'll base it up. But first, let's get this type of skin highlight onto Gideon here. It's a bit pink, but let's see how it works. It's a little bit on brush. Get a good position and just go to the nose. No, that's way too pink. That is way too pink. So let's put a drop of the Jasper next to it and see if we can get some kind of mid tone when they work. A little bit more of the Jasper than the um, what was it? Topaz? Let's see how that goes. It's a little bit uh, better. So, again, bridge the nose. Bones keeping it relatively thin, not forgetting the line of the jaw. You won't do the top lip on this one because I believe the, the uh, character has some stosh. Again, on the other side, cheekbone and the jaw, hold it around. Across the brow, a little bit on the forehead, close the ear. I'll finish this, leave it a minute to dry, and we'll see what we think. It needs a extra wash just to bring it back a little to this highlight. So yes, uh, I'll finish this and bring you back once it's dried to see if we need another quick wash to, to uh, pull the highlight down ever so slightly. So there we have it, uh, Moff Gideon and Cadet Judge Giant skin complete using the army painter war paints and the army painter quick shade from the skin tones paint set all things being equal i think they look um well pretty good or well, more the point they don't look like uh, minstrel show caricatures which is uh, something i was definitely worried about and i think as far as I'm able, they are respectfully done. I don't think I've done an awful job. They're not my best, but then again, as I said way back at the beginning, these are the first dark skinned uh, miniatures I've painted in a long, long time. I think with the confidence I've gained from painting these two guys, I will be adding uh, non-white skin to my normal repertoire where appropriate so quite looking forward now to getting hold of uh, a mace window or something to paint so yeah I'm quite I'm, uh, honestly I'm really pleased with them both miniatures uh, sorry the uh, judge miniature is I got it off eBay Everything else is available from uh, Mighty Lancer Games down there in Bridlington. QR code on screen now. I've learnt things today from this painting. I hope you have too. Um, I don't know what else to say. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Tell me if you actually... Is for 
white skinned watchers tell me if you regularly paint darker skinned miniatures in, as part of your repertoire and for you know afro-caribbean asian watchers let me know if you pay, if you think my effort was okay and what your um, the skin tones you tend to paint are because we're all interest, interested everyone wants to learn how to get better at this gosh darn hobby gosh darn who am i bloody making videos for at this freaking hobby uh, so yeah, like, share, subscribe, do all the usual things. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike. In fact, comment, tell me what a dick I am and how terrible a human being I actually am. Uh, that's enough from me. Goodbye. I love your faces. Goodbye.